I'm Stephanie Hendrickson with Additive Manufacturing Media. Adopting AM can be a slow process, especially for an established manufacturer that might have hundreds of different parts to evaluate individually for 3D printing. Even an experienced engineer is going to need time to decide whether and how to 3D print a given part. Luckily, there are soft solutions based on machine learning and artificial intelligence that can help companies make those assessments more quickly and have a better chance of success with prints. We'll look at one example in this video, part of our series, Software Shading AM. Joining me is Aidan Yona, the co-founder of PrintSyst, a company that provides cloud-based software to help automate that decision-making process. Aidan, welcome. Tell me a little bit more about PrintSyst. Hey, so first of all, thank you for the time. I appreciate it. So my name is Aitan. I'm the co-founder and VP product of uh, Princess. Uh, Princess is all about 3D printing with confidence. We are bridging the gap between manufacturers to designers by using our artificial intelligence proprietary engine. Uh, we are doing by providing a full analysis about 3D parts and providing a suggestions for manufacturing methods uh, in terms of AM uh, technologies, also materials, and also can show what are the potential failure points. All of that are done automatically super fast using our artificial intelligence technology. So something I find really interesting about your software is that it's not just giving you a yes or no decision. It's actually helping you try to assess your chances of success um, within the printing process. Can you talk a little bit more about how the software works and how the algorithm is making the decision whether this particular design is going to translate into a successful 3D printed part? What we're doing is actually we can figure out from zero to 100 how much the part is suitable for each technology when it comes to additive manufacturing. When you upload the parts to our software, we are looking at the geometries, comparing those geometries to our database, our database full with parts which already printed using additive manufacturing. And we are looking for similarities in the geometries. The database is tagged already by which technology is the best uh, to go with based on the functionality of the part. We're looking for those uh, similarities and we can determine what is the best way to manufacture it. Okay, so let's dive into this. Can we see an example? Sure, of course. So let's, for example, open a new project. So I just click on the, this area. Now I need to choose the parts that I want to upload the software. Let's go, for example, with these five parts. I'm clicking on open. And now the second thing that comes up is that I need to name the project. So just for this inspiration, let's call it Stephanie. I'm clicking on the OK button, and now what happens is that the engine starts to analyze the part. So this actually uses the artificial intelligence technology. Based on the similarities, it will tell me which technology works the best for the part that has been uploaded. So now it's processed, and we can see in just a few seconds that it will start to pile up, and we'll get three suggestions. It can be that a part is not printable, it can be a printable, or it can be a warning. A warning means that it requires further attention from the engineer before it goes to the manufacturing. And when it comes to warning, I can show the engineer what are the potential failure points. Now, this really reduces the time between the designer and manufacturer because instead of making a lot of iterations, I can send him directly a report of what are the potential failure points and then he can just can fix it on the CAD software. And instead of doing do, doing those iterations, it's just in one second you can edit entirely and properly the report. Now we can see now the parts are starting to pile up and it's working really super fast. It's something like we, I'm talking something like one minute and we already analyzed five parts. Now let's, for example, uh, go for this bracket. This is actually come from the automotive industry, one of our clients. And you can see directly that there are suggestions of what is the recommended technology, what is the recommended material, and also I can get an automated pricing for the part itself. So I'm just clicking on the part. And now what happens is that I can see, of course, the picture. And there are two things that are, re the things that really reflect the AI engine capabilities are in this chart. What happens here is that this is showing me the scale from zero to 100, how much the part is suitable for each technology. And this is based on the similarities. So if I hover this eye mark, I can see that how many parts the AI engine recommendation is based on. So this is the number of parts that you find the same in the database. 
and we have like 91% of uh, succeeding with going with FDM, but we have a manufacturability problem and we can see that in the seat map. So we have a wall thickness problem and also a hole diameter in the part itself. I can click on this part, on this picture, and what happens is just in a second, we will see the analysis of where the potential failure points in this part in a visual way that you actually can send directly to the engineer. You can see here that the green means that those are areas which are printable and the orange one represents where the potential feral points when it comes to wall thickness and blue means to parts uh, for holes which are too small for manufacturing. So if for example I'm unmark these areas I can see directly those holes which are too small for manufacturing and when it comes to the wall thickness I'm just going right over here so I can see the problems which are uh, here on this side this hole is too close to the wall it's going here here and also in the back of the part and um, this in general so i can send actually this report with the viewer directly to um, the designer and reduce this time of iterations by uh, explaining him where the potential failure points now you can see that the recommendation of the engine at the beginning was to go with FDM and also ABS technology. Of course, you can override this suggestion. And by overriding this suggestion, the engine starts to learn which kind of geometry works with which kind of technologies and also uh, materials. And this will be based on your preferences. So let's say, for example, that you're not satisfied with ABS decision of the part. So we have something that we call the material guide that you can play with those sliders, for example. And by playing with those and clicking, for example, on the submit, now the engine looks for me what is the best material among all the materials that I have in my library. And based on that, I can get a recommendation for material. So that way also the engine learns that this kind of material works properly with this kind of technology. So this is really interesting because the, the engine is not just using that existing database of part geometries. It's learning from the choices of, of the designer, of the engineer, as far as um, what process might be preferred, what material properties might be needed. Just by just through the course of putting different parts in and playing with the options, you're kind of teaching the software to, to, to get smarter, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, this is how, how it works. This is the, the core of the technology itself. Yeah, so in in the example of the bracket that we just looked at there were some different some different choices like there was a comparison between FDM and SLS technology um, there was a recommended material and so all of that is customizable based on what the engineer actually has available can we so can we talk a little bit about what it looks like to set this up yes so it's truly really easy process um, at the beginning of the process of of course, we have something in the settings, the basic settings that we would need to Apple. For example, which technologies you're using, or for example, you need to have some tuning about wall thickness issues or pin diameter based on the machines that you have uh, in the company. And based on those components, it calculates the pricing of the parts itself. Um, now, in terms of uh, analytics about the entire projects, we also have the dashboard. This is actually accumulates with all the parts that have been uh, into the software under my user, of course. So you can see, for example, what is the leading technology among all the parts that have been uploaded? That way you will be able to even understand what is the CapEx you need to invest. You can make smarter decision in terms of investing on new machines. This is something that the software will able to make a smart decision. What is the total estimation of the entire parts? How many parts have been succeeded? How many parts have been filled? Yeah, so I can see how this would be really useful for maybe a big manufacturer that has a large catalog of parts that they're trying to evaluate or for a service bureau that's just dealing with a big variety of different parts. Um, but I'm curious, you know, what do you see from your customers? Where do you see this software having the biggest impact? It's all about uh, in big companies, the knowledge management in the organization, because there's a lot of employees that working with additive, they're coming and going. Based on the experience of the engine, it can learn the patterns of people and can help them in make smart decision in the organization in the, and in the future. It will accumulate with all the data and the experience that people gain. People who will join the organization or people they want to use additive, 
they can be kind of an expert right away. It will really automate the entire process. So software gets smarter, but it also helps people get smarter. Yeah, it is. Aiden, thank you for joining me. Sure, thank you very much. I appreciate that. Thank you to everyone for watching. If you'd like to learn more about Princist or other kinds of software advancing additive manufacturing, see the links in the video description. And for more on industrial 3D printing, visit additivemanufacturing.media.